because you control the weights. Is. Returner will field it and try to get some field position. Yeah. A really disciplined job by the coverage unit yeah. to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Texas defense will take the first swing of the game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason. Gotta be able to play under control with passion, with energy, with hatred because it's a rivalry game. But keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. And he can't hold on to the ball at the end of this big game. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's gonna be a long day. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. From the gun, give on the inside. Really good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Got it in the middle, it's Vega. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success. And that's why teams drill. I consider myself a rather flexible viewer here. I know you mortals have your limitations, but there is one thing I cannot tolerate. The callous arrogance of those who do not pay the respect to destroyer is due. I ordered you to find me the most comfortable pillow in all the universe, and I know for a fact you obtained it. Your tenacity was impressive, although your methods a bit severe. I bet you don't even know how many creatures you killed in that raid. Of course, being what I am, I would have accepted all that if you'd actually given me the best pillow instead of keeping it for yourself, and trying to fool me with the second best. <laughs> The give to the back. Oh. Yeah, maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nice play of the drive coming up, but they'll have to convert the very long to keep it going. Oh, of course. 
Death Troopers, the destroyer is. No wonder he could be tackled in two blows. You know, I spared you as a child because I hope you grow up strong enough to entertain me. Oh, well, another same disappointment should have destroyed your planet myself. <laughs> now then, why don't you prove I'm wrong and tell me something useful about this Super Saiyan God? Super oh, Saiyan Super Saiyan God? Seems letting me down is your kind specialty. Wait, let me think! <sighs> Please tell me you're not doing push-ups. Oh. Are you okay? Stay back! Get out of here! That's not a very nice way to speak to a woman, Prince Vegeta. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, my lady. He's just had too much punch. Who are you guys? I'm sorry, we should have told you. My name is Reese, madam. And this fine gentleman over here to my right is Lord Beerus. We were just passing by your planet when we saw Vegeta and thought we'd stop to give our regards. Oh, you're from space, huh? I guess I should have put that together. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. To tell you the truth, I didn't think Vegeta had friends. You'll stop! I'm Bulma, Vegeta's wife, believe it or not. It's both an honor and pleasure to meet you. Today's my birthday, and we're having a little party. So I guess it's a big party when you rent a ship. You're both welcome to join us if you'd like to. My, my, what a generous offer, Earth Woman. Thank you. Honestly, my nose has been tantalized by some most intriguing aromas since we came aboard. In that case, let's go. Wait! Everybody, listen! Allow me to introduce Vegeta's friends, Beerus and Whis. A pleasure to meet you all! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! He seems to be in good spirits. He might actually survive this, assuming nobody makes him mad. I say those two are most likely to screw things up. This is my old friend, Young Chai. Salutations. <laughs> Don't be so formal, bring it in. <laughs> Compared to all these other Saiyans and kids, I'm kind of an old timer. But the fact is, and I don't want to say this too loud to embarrass people, but I'm one of the greatest martial arts. Bring it in. I say those two. He might actually survive this, assuming nobody makes him mad. I say those two are most likely to screw things up. This is my old friend, Young Chai. Salutations. <laughs> Don't be so formal, bring it in. <laughs> Compared to all these other Saiyans and kids, I'm kind of an old timer. But the fact is, and I don't want to say this too loud to embarrass people, but I'm one of the greatest martial artists here. So I totally get why you're nervous. But this is a party, man. No one's gonna start a fight. You're the nice bro. <laughs> Could you be more stupid? Oh. Okay, who's hungry? <laughs> yeah. Why is that? I don't believe I've ever had this before. It's a party special! It's a party special! Let's taco yaki! What's up? <laughs> the way the game works is most of these are filled with delicious octopus, but one has wasabi instead, and you won't know till you bite down! So try your luck and let's get this party started! So? Oh, oh, stop! Do not play your childish game! Okay, who ordered the party pooper? Who ordered the party pooper? Who likes a pooper of parties? <laughs> I've never heard of this wasabi you speak of, but this roulette aspect has a fascinating mystery, and visually it's quite pleasing. That drizzle topping reminds me of the ultra-sweet black fruit sauce on planet Bana, although the smell of it is another matter. Quiet, Weiss, I'd rather be surprised. Wow, so you're volunteering to take the first bite, huh? I guess you really do know how to party, don't you? Let's cheer them on, guys! Go, Beerus! Go, Beerus! Go, Beerus! Go, Beerus! Go Beerus! Go Beerus! Go Beerus! Oh, you need to be alone. There's so many and only one has wasabi. His chance of choosing the bad one is infinitesimal. Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Now 
Well, at least the food here isn't cold. Yes, indeed, but my stomach is filling up, and I don't know where else to look on this planet or otherwise. Maybe I'll just go home and take another nap. Yes, that's my monster. Get back to your own world. To so, Prince. Yes, sir. That's saying on King Kai's world. Oh, I've already forgotten his name. Goku, my lord. Yes, that's right, Goku. What exactly is your relationship to that fighter? He's my enemy, but we've made a truce. A truce, you say? Do you accept that? For the sake of have changed during my nap, or at least those who survived. You've the... become downright gutless. Stop! No, you're so mean! Excuse me. What is this wrong? Are you angry, my lord? Do I look angry? Well, yes. No, miss. I wouldn't say I'm angry. Furious is more like it! <laughs> Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is Get it in his hands Hard to stay angry when the Saiyan Prince plays the jester. And getting mad does stimulate your appetite. But if you've had your fill of appetizers, there's a dessert called pudding that seems to be a specialty here. Pudding, you say? Yes, it's most delicious with the film. Oh, yes. It's a dollar for it. Then why are we waiting? Show me at once. Of course. Here I was getting mad at you, but you care so much about making my party great, you put on an apron and everything. You've really turned things around, honey. You have no idea. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but the pudding vendor over there tells us he's completely run out. Would you mind sharing your pudding with us? Mid-season doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. Man, that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13 play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six yard touchdown pass. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. They'll put this one in play, first snap of the drive from the 25. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. They'll line up for a second down play. Misfired on the last play, they'll go back to the air. He'll pull it down. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to throw for it. 
Pumps it downfield. Oh, he can't hang on. That one was nearly picked off. Instead, he'll force a fourth down. After that last incompletion, the offense is now in punt formation. Looking for a productive play on first down. Scanning the field, it's Wegman. Gets it out fast. And they bring him down quickly, but a good game there. And now on second down for this offense. Using the quick game. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. At the pace this guy's going at right now, this could be a record-setting type day. This could be a game for the ages for this dude. He already has two touchdowns, picks up that first down. This is still the first half, guys. What is this guy capable of doing the rest of the game? We're going to find out. It's first and 10 from the 31. Looking to move it through the air. They'll run the screen. Nice move to keep running. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Got the quick pass. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Texas A&M back to work with another first down. He wants to throw. Setting up the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking to pass. It's Wegman. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. They're bringing heat. They stop and short the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. On second down, he'll let it fly. Nearly picked off there, and he might be the last guy on the field you'd expect to drop that one. It'll be third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Passes incomplete. The clock is down to nine. And here comes the punt team. Bringing it back, it's Owens. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the return man is stopped, and now will leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Fires and picked off. Got some room to run. Touchdown, Aggies. How about that D coming up with a play like that? What 
a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Missouri has the lead right now. Columbia has just been jumping all week. But this game is hardly over. There is time left on that clock. They're up by a field goal over Louisiana. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. They'll throw it on first down. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. The third down offense has not been good, and add this one to the tap. Another third down stop. They give up the sack. They're down by three-plus possessions. Nothing going this offense's way. They bring the punter onto the field now. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. On the return, it's Owens. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Off the play fake on first down. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On the run, it's Owens. They keep feeding him in this running game, and the defense is having none of it. It's been that way all day. On third down, going up top. Pass on the way. It's picked off. That kind of play can really get you going, not only on defense, but the great field position for the O at the 37. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. First down here for the offense. The give to the single back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. He'll try it again. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. On the option. They thought they had a good plan, but it did not work. Line gets set, first down. He'll throw it. Catch in the middle, it's Allen. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. He knows he knows he knows he knows he knows he so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense set on first down. Back to throw. It's Wegman. They're setting up the screen. 
They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. This offense has a second down play. On the run, it's Martin. Smashes through. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And now on third down after that last run. He's looking to throw. And that pass picked off. Taking it the other way. And he'll take this one home. It's a touchdown. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Look at this. I show you, I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job of making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. Looking for the two-point try. They'll run play action. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they trim more off of that lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out, not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. Back to pass. It's Wegman. Shoots it to the left. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Takes it on the return. Garber's team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Offense getting set for first down. Running back searching for a hole. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, looking again to throw. He's got it down the middle. Good pick up there as he gets the first down. They'll mark him at the 48. He's got his man. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle, bang, bang, bang. From the gun, running back gets the give. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. And the defense stands up this offensive line and stuffs him right at the line of scrimmage. He didn't get it. Direct snap. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Now on the counter. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with the pickup of four. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. He got it. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. 
He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Takes the handoff. It's Owens. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They get him on the ground, but that'll be enough to give Texas A&M a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Well, that was the guy the quarterback wanted to go to right from the jump, but a better job by the defense and coverage forcing the incomplete. This Texas A&M offense is wasting no time. Comes out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to run it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Got some work to do after that last play. Second and 13. Off play action. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football. And now they face third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And this kicker might be feeling it. He made one earlier, now from 49 yards out. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. How great is it to know that if you can get the ball down somewhere close to the 40-yard line on your opponent's side of the field, you're walking away with at least three points because this dude is automatic. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. Pulls it, fired complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Last run didn't get much. Ball's at their own 26. Here's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And they can't make the connection. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. He lets one fly deep. Oh, he can't hang on. Almost had the interception. And this guy makes so many big plays but couldn't come up with that one. It'll be fourth down. He'll bring it back. It's Owens. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stops, and that's where the offense will set up shot. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. And chunk plays on the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. That boy fast. Goodness gracious. When he pulls the ball down, he can go chew up yards so quick, just like a running back. Man, the speed is evident on that QB. 
And you know, everybody likes to call him dual threat. I'd say just plain old threat. He is a problem. And you're putting, at a younger age, you're putting your quarterback now, the best athlete on the field, at the quarterback spot so he can go make plays. And he's used to playing quarterback and throwing the ball and been doing this whole life. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air, it's Wegman. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. Just drives it between the uprights. And now the lead is extended a little far. And he knocks another one through. And how about this kicker? Good way to start off your season, right? Like, what do you have at the spot? Sometimes you don't know. Can he make those kicks? Starting off, hasn't missed one yet. Been very dependable for this squad. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. He stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. All wideouts, no backs. Trying to find his man on first down. Finds his target down the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Quick completion on the out route. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Second down. He's back to throw on second down. Got his man quickly. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Finds his tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's right on target. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Release to the back. Finds a man in the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it and still on his feet. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now it's second and goal. Unleashes to the end zone. He's got it in zone for the touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. Right down the boulevard. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Missouri is getting hammered right now. They are the nail, and that figurative mallet is just pounding them into the ground. What a bad look. They're trailing by 21 to Louisiana. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see it here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Dances away from one. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. 
to throw. It's Wegman. Quickly to the tight end. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. The throw for the right sideline falls to the ground. That last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He wants to throw it again. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, that slithered right through his fingers and would have been his second interception of the game. Instead, it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. You gotta believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. Takes a handoff. It's Owens. At the 45 on its way. The expressway is wide open. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggie. That one puts them in really good shape to get back on the right track and get another W. That one might have put the finishing touches on this game. This one is over. Game, set, match. The defense had a chance to maybe kind of keep their team in it, but the offense said, take it to the locker room. Ready to try the point after. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Going up top on first down gets it out quickly no chance to run but still a solid pickup on that one after that last completion it's second down he's looking to throw and he really needed to hold on to that one but it was not loose and third down is coming that last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three they're going to try to throw for it on third down Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. He'll come out throwing on first down. Good timing on the quick out. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. He wants to throw here on second down. He makes the connection. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. And the offense just chooses to spike the ball. And here comes play number six of the drive. On second down, looking to throw. Pulls it in. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. Corner showing press. They want to be physical here. 
Going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants it all. And he was shooting for the end zone there, and they couldn't make the completion. That last play, not what they had in mind, and they've got a long way to go to get it close to the goal line to pick up a first down. And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. Might as well go big or go home. They need a touchdown, and it looks like they're on their way home anyway. They'll go for it on fourth down. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. First down for this offense. To the ground with the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. With the clock running, this should be the final play. Looking back on it, this game probably falls precisely into the definition of a trap game. Trap was set, sprung, and the underdogs come up with the win. And that's why we go, you know what? I don't take your rankings. I'm not worried about your rankings. They don't matter to me. We're going to go out and beat this team. We're better than this team. A lot of times those rankings don't mean a lot to a lot of people. And you can tell it didn't mean a lot to this team. And that's why they came out and pulled the upset. Absolutely, David. I mean, that's why you play the games. This team knew they had to come out. They were going to have to put their best foot forward in order to get the W. They did just that. They're talented. They're obviously motivated. I can't wait to see how they follow this up in their next game. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.